it's just nice knowing that I'm far away from everyone I know, like from years ago to now, and from those shows, I befriended people there. Like, it's nice knowing that I fuck with them and they fuck with me, and we're like, we can just catch up like months later or weeks later, or days later, like nothing um, changed, you know? Victoria, aka Catholic Nun, aka I'm Fresh 666, is an online personality who gained attention in the Drain Gang fandom for attending several Drain Gang and Young Lean concerts in states across America and shows internationally in Europe in the last year. I had originally heard about her through TikTok back in May 2022, and would later briefly see her at Mechatox Natural Mind show at Color Factory the following month which simply added to the mythos of this superfan who lived a rockstar lifestyle going on a tour of her own. So I reached out to Victoria recently to find out more about her experiences traveling to these shows and learn more about the superfan. Well, I first heard of Young Lean on Tumblr around 2013, and I got into like the vaporwave aesthetic, but I didn't really get into Drain Gang until 2018 or 19 when I made a Discord, because one of my crush had one, so I downloaded it, and I was in a producer Discord, so everyone was talking about music, and they mentioned Blade, and to be honest, at first, I didn't like Blade, but after more listens, kind of like, you know, people joke about listening to him like 50 more times, but that's how it was. I liked Blade a lot after more listens, and then I got into Tyboy Digital, and then Echo, because you know, when you scroll down Spotify, you can see the related artists, and I really like the SOS album by Ty Boy. I bought concert tickets to see Blade in 2019, but COVID hit. So um, when COVID's over and they started touring again, I'm like, wow, I've been waiting for this. And I just kind of made up for what I didn't have and just spent a lot of money just to try and see them and save up. How many countries in total, if, if, you, if you can remember, have you visited like in, in this last year to see Drain Gang shows? So Germany for the Cologne and Berlin show, then Amsterdam, uh, Warsaw, Poland, and Stockholm, Sweden, and the US shows, I went to about seven. And then I saw Echo in London. Wait, you've you've also been to um see a lot of Young Lean shows, of course, when he was yeah. on his Stardust tour. But as I as we were sort of aware last time, you there was a there was sort of complications. You ended up in in Poland, o staying over a little while. Yeah, I randomly collapsed twice, and the doctor Ooh. diagnosed me with like some nerve damage thing, sciatica. Um, Ooh. But it's, it hasn't happened since. But I'm That's very grateful. My friends took me to the hospital. I met them at the Drain Gang show for Warsaw and I hung out with them again and I collapsed and they took me there and it was really nice of them. Yeah, like every city I've been to, I still like keep in contact sometimes with the people I met. There's group chats for most of the cities and like friends that are non-drainers, I still try and keep in touch too. There's just like a bunch of people I check on now and then, but I'm like a lot busier now, so I can't keep in touch as much. But it's just nice knowing that I'm far away from everyone. I know like from years ago to now, and from the shows I met people there, like it's nice knowing that I fuck with them and they fuck with me and we're like, we can just catch up like months later or weeks later, or days later, like nothing changed, you know? Like at the Drain shows, I've seen some of them again for the Lean shows months later and like, it's been months since I've hung out with Who and Who, and it's just like, when I see them again, it's like nothing's changed. Like, hey buddy, like, you know? What did you enjoy about all of the trips, like, in total? Like, what, what, do, you, what do you take away from it, would you say? Like, besides seeing my favorite artists play the same thing over and over again and making friends, like, those are the top things. Besides that, I get to explore the cities and experience different cultures, try new foods, and connect with the people I meet there and have little group activities. Oh, let's go to the thrift store, let's hang out at a park. And just seeing different sites that are I don't really see in America as much. And I like how the cities in Europe are very walkable. What exactly do you think you learn traveling around? for all of these shows perhaps <laughs> budgeting like handling money being what's the cheapest option to go from where to where i was really not that smart with my spending at first and i like it taught me how to have more backup plans but basically spending like i used flix bus i used public transport but i just soak up a lot of different experience like i noticed that sometimes you have to pay to use the bathroom and you know i already knew this but my friends are just saying like healthcare is free and it's just really nice to like i don't know i'm really idealizing europe like nice transportation 
uh, universal health care. It just seems more utopian compared to U.S., especially with the transport. And I mean, I don't know for sure with everything. Like there might be corruption in some places. Like I was told in Poland, the police are not that great. But think of something right now, except for just budgeting and like handling things more financially better. So I'm assuming after the um after you had to go to hospital in Poland, um, you stayed over for a little bit, and then I'm assuming you returned to the U.S. Oh, after that. Um, no, I stayed at my friend's for a little bit, and mm. then my flight wasn't until a week later. I was supposed to go to the London show, but I sold my ticket. I'm yeah, like, I can't. Yeah, I, 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 I remember that. Yeah, I can't like go to concerts and party mm. like this. I need to recover. So I stayed at my friend's in Berlin. Shout out Swoopy. He let me stay over, and we just hung out, chilled, smoked weed, and just took it easy. And that was really nice. And I just came back home and just been relaxing and recovering since. I got a job and I'm only making $9 an hour. It's not that much, but it feels a lot more rewarding than, you know, posting content online. I'm just trying to steer away from OnlyFans and start working a normal job. Um, I'm a waitress. I just take orders, greet people. I'm like, what do you want to order? I'm like, have a nice day. And, all that make bubble tea is kind of cute uh it's a really change in my life because i was just like constantly mm -hmm. da, 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 da. and now that i'm alone i mean i haven't hung out with anyone since december 16th i've just been working because i'm trying to save money for summer again it's like i went on a roller coaster and now i have to be like meditating alone <laughs> if let's say drain gang do another tour do you think you'll be you'll be going for going for that again do you or do you plan to travel i mean i would like to but i'm gonna see drain gang again in barcelona i'm just saving up my money from working all i do is just work and if i just keep doing this from now to late may and i don't go out i don't go to any clubs parties i don't take a trip to new york or philly or anything just completely isolate myself and really restrain myself from any shopping or spending i can go back and see them again it's really extreme are you also planning to travel europe for that summer then or are you, do you think you'll save continue to save up a bit more i'm planning to just roam around like after that i'm like i want to visit my old friends that hosted me and let me stay with them and go to different parts like i'm planning on going to spain then mm. visiting my family in france for a week or so then my friend in paris i met in sweden actually and I'm planning to go to the Netherlands and see old friends and Cologne, Berlin, Warsaw to see old friends I made. Since I can't stay in Europe for more than 90 days, I have to like oh God. go to England or I don't know, Romania, somewhere that's not Schengen. <laughs> so, how how did the 90 day thing come about, may I ask? I don't know, but if you don't have a visa or you're not a citizen, mm. you can only stay in Europe, like maximum 90 days. So. Oh, okay. So I, I imagine the, the traveling around to the, the Drain Gang shows has probably chipped away at that, I imagine. Yeah, or, it kind of sucks. Yeah. And then you got to wait 180 more days to before Ooh. I can go back. This might be a bit of a more like deeper question, I suppose. And But if you could give everybody in the world one piece of advice, what would it be? Dang. I, I don't know. I feel like I'll go on tangent. Uh, the first thing that pops in my mind is just be true, true to yourself and, you know, do what makes you happy. As long as you're not hurting other people or hurting yourself and be kind to everyone because you never know what someone's going through. And, you know, being kind, patient, compassionate, like it's just um, very, not the opposite of poison. You know, like when something's poison, it just spreads mm. more. But when you're just, you know, kind and understanding, it'll just spread um as well you know like pay it forward but yeah being true to yourself and just being kind and you know don't let the world make you hard and rough you know keep you know that little child part of you there be curious and ask questions and just you know explore and do stuff that makes you happy so i think that's important advice to keep in mind like don't take things personally especially if it's mean stuff you know um perfect yeah that's all i can think of right now